Okay, so for the second to last bonus mission in the game, we're going to be playing as a deadlock and we're going to book ourselves some some flights. Uh, one second. As usual, I put the music too high and I can't hear anything. Uh, so he has a an itinerary in file 300 that says which airpoint which airport he's going to start at, and then he wants to fly from that one to JFK, and from that one to CDG, and then that one to IBZ. And then that's the end of the trip. We don't need to worry about a trip back to the starting destination. Uh, and so what we have to do is we have to find the tickets that will allow this to happen, and they have to be in such an order that he can actually make the flights. So if I'm going to be flying until 5 o'clock, getting if I get into JFK at 5 o'clock, I can't take a flight that leaves JFK at 4 o'clock because I'll be flying there. So we need to we need to track that that timing to make sure that the tickets are actually like feasible for him. Uh, and so we find those tickets and we're going to put them into file 301. Uh, so one thing to note here is that uh, the first flight is always going to be in the USA, so each of these hosts refers to a country. And we know that the first flight's going to leave from the USA. And another thing that I learned is that uh, connecting airports match the links in the hosts. So the USA will only have connecting flights to Canada and to France. Like there will not be a flight that leaves the USA and goes to Ireland, for example. Uh, and that's going to be helpful for how we structure our solution here. So what's going to happen is Execution Agent A is going to grab our like itinerary, copy in the, the DFW airport into the X register, and it's going to create an agent that's going to go in and... I call this guy the Spider. The spider is going to be the one that's going and exploring the network. Uh, but since we already know that the first flight is in the USA, we don't need to go and find the correct airport. We know it. We already know which one it's in. And then also, we don't have to worry about any timing because this is the first ticket. The The tickets are ordered based on their uh, departure time. So we can assume that the first ticket we find that goes to JFK is the one that we're going to want to take. So we can skip the te that there are tests that I do on future steps where I'll try and find a, a, which country is the airport that we're trying to get to and also uh, worrying about the timing that they work. Since those aren't a factor the first time, all we're going to do is we're going to grab file 200 and we're going to look for the first flight that departs from DFW. So we go through the file here and you can see on the left side, the DFW is the fourth line. So we find DFW, we see that matches. And then we're going to quickly grab the, the destination and make sure that that matches. So XA is sending over the destination, uh, which is JFK, and that's going to match. So now we know this is the ticket that we want to book. So what we'll do is we copy the arrival time over to execution agent A. We're going to use that to make sure that the next ticket we pick up is going to be after this time. We can compare the times using uh, the test operator, as as stated here. So we send over that time for XA to hold on to, and now what we'll do is come back to the line here, and we're going to send the ticket number over to XA as well. XA is going to replicate an agent that's just going to grab file 301 and, send, and write down that ticket number into it. And then XA is going to send over uh, whether or not we need to book another flight or not to the spider. Since we do, uh, we'll say, okay, we need to book another flight. And in the meantime, XA has deleted the line with that ticket from the file. Because we once we've taken a ticket out, we are supposed to remove the whole line. So that's five items. The, the ticket number, the two airports, and the two dates have to be taken out. Uh, so we've deleted that line while XA was worrying about writing down the ticket number. And now we've sent over, we need another one. So XA is going to just quickly jump back and is going to announce uh, is this is he's going to announce the current time that we need to be after and that's going to go out on the M register. Meanwhile, the spider is going to create an agent that's going to try and cross all four of our cardinal direction links. So you see we've got a, a compass rose here. 800 through 803 can be used to go in the four directions. So the spider is just going to create one that's going to try and go across all four of the directions. Uh, only two will work to Canada and France. The other two are going to air out. You'll see these guys fire off a shot just to, in case somebody's holding the 200 file from a previous iterator. That'll get rid of them. Uh, then they grab file 200. And now all three of these guys are going to iterate through their 
uh, their li- their flight log list here until and try and find the one that matches JFK. Which one has JFK as a uh, as a, a source, like a, a, a departure airport? Uh, that's going to be USA. So the USA is going to find it and say, okay, I I I have the correct country. I'm going to start communicating with XA. The other two guys are going to keep going down their lists looking for JFK. And when they reach the end of the list without finding it, they're just going to terminate themselves because they weren't able to find what they were looking for. So XA is like, okay, I have JFK. Now what I need to do is uh, basically iterate down the list until I find flights that are leaving in time for us to catch them, basically. Because because these are sorted sorted in order of departure time, we're going to go down the list until we find a flight that is after the flight that was sent out. And you'll see 1905 is, uh, is after 1902. So we're going to be like, that's too... Um, that's too early, so we need to check the next one. That one's also too early. This one, however, is late enough. So we're like, okay, we are now from this point on, any ticket that we find will be in a good time for us to take it. So now we just need to find the first ticket that takes us from JFK to whatever our destination is. So we copy back over to our agent here. Okay, remember, we remember we are done with the time. So remember, where are we leaving from? We're leaving from JFK. And now we need to find the first one that's going to take us to CDG. Uh, and that's actually the first one here. So he goes back, he checks, he's like, oh, JFK to CDG. And it, we already know it's at a time that works. So we're gonna be like, okay, this is the ticket we're gonna take. We copy that information over and we delete it. And then XA is going to basically do the same thing and say, okay, are we done? No, we still have one more flight from CDG to IBZ. So we're gonna say, okay, we're not done. This guy's going to send out a new set of spiders and they're gonna go and check all linked airports, which would be Canada and France. And you can see that this guy's erroring out now, but it's very possible that Canada could still be reading through lines. So this is why these guys run a kill before they try and pick up the 200 file. Cause there could still be one from the previous iteration trying to read through it. Uh, so now all three of them are once again, now they're looking for CDG. Uh, and I believe that is in France. So France has actually said, yep, CDG is over here. Uh, and then they're going to then search through the times. So they got 2001, so they're going to find the first flight that happens after 2001, which is right here. And it's like, okay, what, what was I looking for? CDG, perfect. And which one am I trying to get to? IBZ. Oh, there it is right there. We found it right there, 472. So then we're going to go back. We're going to send 472 over to XA, and that's going to get written down. And uh, we now will send over to the spider. It's like, okay, we're, we are done. We've reached the end of our list here. We do not need to uh, get any more tickets. We're, we're all booked up. Thank you. And so then he's going to terminate himself. He's not going to replicate the spider. Uh, these, so these guys are done. You'll see that this guy is st- was still reading through the USA itinerary, uh, but he'll reach the end of the file and error himself out. And that job will be marked as completed. So we'll let that go. Uh, it is it is pretty satisfying watching these things go. Uh, when I had originally done this job, I didn't realize that airports would only have flights to linked hosts. I was doing a whole spider across the whole network, and that was definitely exploding some of my time there. Uh, but yeah, we have we've booked our trip of a lifetime to pretty much anywhere in the world. I think. How how far does this span? Uh, never mind. Not the whole world. It's. It's Europe and, and North America, so a little, <laughs> a little limited. We're missing a few continents in there, but okay. Uh, some part of the world, I guess. But yeah, there you go. That was the second to last one. There's only one job left in the game, so let's let's get to it. <laughs>